And one of the guests, um, after having agreed with the fact that there was a political uh, motivation behind the crime, then sanitizes the, the, the act by saying, well, because nobody else believed in a, believed in a race war, therefore, it, it, we couldn't take that as a terrorist act. Um, this young man, from the, from the beginning, I think, based on what I know, thought that blacks um, are take, overtaking the world and therefore uh, they should be stopped. Uh, and if he started a, a, a race war, it would make sure it would eliminate the, the the privilege or advantages that blacks are having now. So that interesting is interesting point. Well, K- Katang, uh, that was me. Uh, this is John uh, who said that, and I wasn't sanitizing in any way the crime. All I was saying was, um, if you label something a uh, 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 as having a political purpose. And the number of people who share that political purpose is infinitesimally, uh, infinitesimally small. Uh, it, it is hard to see it that way because but there's no movement behind it. How do you know that? It. How do you yeah. know that you've got the KKK still in existence? You've got a number of groups all over the country who are very racist. It, uh, there are many uh, racists in the United States, and there are. Uh, um, but my point is that the idea of a movement for race war, uh, if you compare that, for example, to the other kind of issues we were talking about today of uh, uh, political aims in the Middle East, um, uh, radical Islam, there's no comparison because there is a broad movement for radical Islam. Uh, that um, that we've seen. The constituency for race war in the United States is very, very tiny.